Yes, good evening to you. He and three other people were arrested when they showed up to a place to meet who they thought were teenage girls. And Seattle Police says it was that arrest that allowed them to go back on an investigation and arrest this firefighter again yesterday for rape of a child back in 2019. 52-year-old Seattle firefighter Andrew Sapier remains on administrative leave Wednesday after being arrested twice this month for alleged crimes against children. If they're looking to be a predator against our children, then we're going to be uh, do our best to find these people and uh, to catch them. Sergeant Darren Wright of the Washington State Patrol says Sapier was one of four men arrested during the March 16 sting. Text messages and court documents show Sapier believed he was talking to two 13-year-old girls and was arrested when he showed up to meet them. It doesn't matter what line of work you do, it doesn't matter where you come from or who you are, if you are committing these crimes or attempting to commit these crimes, uh, we, will, we will arrest you. On Tuesday, Sapir was arrested again, this time by Seattle police. He is alleged to have invited a 14-year-old girl over to his apartment in 2019 and offered her alcohol and drugs before the victim says he raped her. We want to make sure that we are protecting our children from any predator. Chief Harold Scoggins of the Seattle Fire Department says he is deeply concerned by the egregious allegations against Sapier and committed to take every action within my authority to hold Sapier accountable. So how challenging is it for you guys to kind of lock down a type of suspect that you're looking for in these stings? Um, there is no type. Um, that's, that's the whole thing about this uh, particular set of crimes. There's no type of person. Um, they come from all walks of life, um, all ages, um, and, and from all locations. It's just uh, happens to be who's, who's looking to be a predator at this time. WSP says since 2015, they've made 294 arrests through Operation Net Nanny, a joint effort of more than 30 police agencies, and have a 96% conviction rate minus pending cases. That 96% conviction rate is, uh, is impressive. Uh, we're proud of that, and we'll continue to make sure we have good, solid cases, make good, solid arrests, so that we can make sure that these children are protected. Washington State Patrol adds that they have rescued 31 at-risk or endangered youth during some of those operations. For now, here live in Seattle, I'm Tony Black, King 5 News.